Hello, my fellow card floppers. It is I, Smooth Puma, here with the ever-present reminder that all you need to play some historic brawl is commons and uncommons. So save those wild cards for another time, another deck, another channel, because you won't need them here. Today, we will be playing the Simic Commander Eutrophia, the twice favored. Let me pull up the deck list here. And Eutrophia, the, or Eutropia, not sure how to say it, uh, is one generic, one green, and one blue mana. Three mana total, human wizard, and ability is Constellation. Whenever an, an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. That creature gains flying until end of turn. And Eutropia, the twice favored, is a two power, two toughness creature. So that's Eutropia. Uh, so now that we know our commander, let's see what a couple of the strategies are gonna be. And let's be honest, for Eutropia, I think you can figure out. The main idea of the deck is to get Eutropia and a few other creaturely friends on the board. So creatures like Generous Visitor. One green mana. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, put a plus one counter on tar a plus one plus one counter, excuse me, on target creature. And there's also, let's see, Kyrian Dryad. Whenever you cast a spell that's white, blue, black, or red, put a plus one counter on Kyrian Dryad, which is a one generic, one forest, one one. We have a lot of blue spells, so it's likely the Kyrian Dryad will get plus one counters. And the last one, Satessian Skirmisher, one generic, one force, human warrior with constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, it gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. So creatures like Satessian Skirmisher, Kyrian Dryad, uh, and where's the other one? Generous Visitor are usually really some of the best choices to be those friends of Eutrophia. Because once we have them and Eutropia on the board, what we're going to do is we're going to be trying to cast a bunch of cheap one-drop auras. You see, a bunch of enchantments, auras, creatures. Uh, and so why we do this is that when we cast the auras, it'll trigger Eutropia's constellation, putting a plus one counter and flying until end of the turn on a creature. But often it will trigger those other creatures that benefit from enchantments entering the battlefield. Now, some of the uh, cheap one-drop auras we're going to be looking at. Uh, I really love combat research, I really love curiosity, and I really love curious obsession. Why? Because they're one-drops that when you hit, let you draw cards. And that's what this deck hopes to do, is draw cards. So we have three of them um, in here. But along with that, we also have from the new card from Brothers War, audacity which is rancor light if we had to admit right a one green enchant creature gets plus two plus zero and trample and if it's put in the graveyard you draw a card that's pretty good and we also have some other like higher like aether tunnels unblockable cradle of safety hex proof we have a lot of things to help uh security bypass if a creature attacks alone uh it's, it can't be blocked uh so we have ways to try to get around blockers but along with our Auras plan, we have a few cards that benefit from the plus one plus counters that Eutropia distributes. So the first example, we'll scroll a little farther down and we'll go to my, the good boy! We'll go to Mowu, the loyal companion. Three generic, one forest, legendary doggo! It has Vigilance and Trample. And if one or more plus one counters would be put on Mowu, it's that many plus one instead. So Eutropia won't just put one plus one counter, it's going to put two on Mowu. So Mowu can get super, super swole. But along with Mowu, also, uh, another card. Jiang Yanggu, Wildcrafter. Two generic, one forest, Planeswalker. And each creature you control with a plus one counter on it has tap at one mana of any color. And for a negative one loyalty, you can put a plus one counter on target creature. So the hope of Zhang Yanggu would be to ramp and to also distribute a few more plus counters. 
And we also have to sneak cards like this in here, too. Oh, I'm glad they're next to each other. Hydra's Growth and Invigorating Surge. These two cards do it different ways, but they're a similar cost. One's an instant, one's a aura. Uh, but really what matters of this is that the plus one plus counters get doubled. So the hope is we might surprise an opponent or two, especially with Invigorating Surge. But friends, that's basically Utropia. We're going to sling auras, we're going to share plus one, plus one counters, and we are going to punch some opponents' faces. So you ready to see how it runs? All right, well, let me load it up. As always, we play three matches. If I have a winning record at the end of three, we open a pack. But if I have a losing record, clearly uncommons and commons aren't cutting it. So we'll look and see what maybe some rares are that we could add to the deck. But here we go, starting off, who's our first opponent gonna be? Spleggy! Who's playing Kambal? Oh, oh Kambal's no bueno for me. I play a whole lot of non-creature spells. Well, let's free mulligan. Ooh, there... This might be a bad one, friends. Ooh, this might not be the one. We're going to try to get these down, but they're going to be casting Kambal, and they're... Ooh, it's going to be close. It'll be close. Oh, friends, this is going to be a stressful one. But yeah, we're playing Spleggy, playing Kambal, Console of Allocations. Some ores off, so... Ah! Oh, we're playing a life gain deck? Ah! Oh. Oh, sad, but I'm glad we drew a generous visitor. I wish we would have drew a land, but this will do just fine. What you got, friend? Wait. Oh, that was my turn, too. My land came and tapped. Oh, jeepers creepers. Yeah, we're not going to win this one, friends. Um, well, you know what? I shouldn't say that. Let's let's at least get them swole McSwole swole Boom. Boom. That'll be a 4-4. I mean, they'll block, but whatever. Well, maybe they won't block, but I'm assuming they have a 2-2. Two -two. It's worth sacrificing. Oh, let me draw some cards. Please give me a land. Please, magic gods. Nope, but that's a good card. Alrighty. There we go. Now we can get Utropia on the board. And though Kambal stinks, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, drop Kambal, you have to. That makes the most sense for you. You know you want to. Yeah, you can swing in for three, that's fine. Just play Kambal. I know you want... Oh! Oh, gain three life, that's smart. Okay. Gain three life. Let's think, how do I want to do this? Ooh, that's going to be fun. For now, I'll just cast Eutropia. This will be good. Yeah, yeah, you gain life. Oh, I do not like Soul Warden. Who knew I didn't like Soul Warden? Oh, yeah, block it. It'll just come back next turn. I know. But next turn, friends, we are going to have a pretty big swing because it's going to be one, two. So two, four. Add one. So it'll be up to a six. It'll be swinging for ten. Ten draw two. Ten and draw two. I want to... Yeah, 10 and draw 2 is fine. You can play Kambal. I don't care. I'll swing for 10 and draw 2 in the air. Don't kill Utropia. Are you going to board wipe? Are you going to board wipe? Uh, you're Jamoke. Nice play, Spleggy. Alright, fine. Yeah, gain your 2 life. Uh, hey friends, sometimes I get discouraged playing this game and I just don't want to play it anymore. I think this is going to be one of those games. Because uh, they're just a 3-3 three, three and I have no other... Ugh, this is a sad... Yeah, friends, okay, we'll count this as a loss. They got us. Not even worth feeling. Spluggy, you had, you had us locked from the get-go. I imagine you had a few board wipes in there too. But Spluggy playing Kumball... The Council of Allocations whooping my butt. That was a good deck, Spleggy. Good win. Put me in my place. I will say as an excuse, 
I didn't hit a few lands. But that's okay. Anyways, round two. Let's see, we're off to an 0 1 start. This isn't looking good for Eutropia. Ugh. Oh, I thought this one would do better than Mishra, but Mishra went 3 0. Maybe I'm playing. Oh, no. There's so many extra zero drops now. Am I about to get Aether Flux Reservoir? I don't want to get Aether Fluxed. Free ball again, no green. Alright. Oh. Okay, okay, Magic Gods. Your, your point has been made. What? Alright, I'm not going to go lower. Uh, guess we'll get rid of Renata. She's not coming down forever. Yeah, I, I think the Magic Gods had it in for us, because if I can't cast anything, Enjoyer... Oh my goodness. Enjoyer can get going before I can swing. Yeah, I need a green or... Pretty much done. <laughs> All right, Magic Gods. I'll st well, I'm st I still don't have, like, anything. Ugh, fine. Uh, Utropia, get it started. Gotta do something. Hey, Red, that's enough, please. My dog is chewing a rubber thing, of course, and it's the most annoying sound in the world. Okay, we'll play a forest. We'll tap these, right? Sack the island. Because we do not need another island. We're just going to grab two forests, snag those right away, get them on the battlefield. And we'll drop a generous visitor. And then we'll hold up this growth spiral for next turn. Uh, maybe even a protect uh, Eutropia. Uh, so that's it for now. Really wish we had uh, any auras. A single aura. Alright, there she is. Now they're going to go ballistic. Yep. Oh, okay. Well, I'll draw my card then. Wow, magic is a really okay all right fine i got something um who do i want to target i'm gonna target generous visitor constellation that's good drop jang give a plus one to generous visitor swing in for six this is what we have to hope to do. We're on a beatdown plan now, but I don't think... I mean, they have four or five mana. They can drop an Aether Flux and start... Ugh. Yeah, I think we're in trouble. Yep, there's a draw. Gain a life. Okay. So there's three mana, four mana. There it is. Knew it. Knew it. Nice. Okay, so we just got to keep them down. No, I don't care if you hit John. Okay. This is fine. Resolve. Ugh, why am I not drawing any single <laughs> auras? Jeepers. I lost an uh, additional life there, but I don't... I mean, they'll probably... I think this is it. So, end turn. I'm going to hold up the GGs. I'm going to eat the popcorn because I'm ready to see what they do. Resolve. We're close. Everything's going to get plus one, plus one, and trample. So four, eight. We have it. If they don't... Oh, they're going to gain life. They have Aether Flux. Shoot. <sighs> yeah. Magic's a hard game, friends. Huh? Ha ha ha. Great. Yep, yep. Yeah, this is... This has been a bad day of magic, friends. Not my best. Okay, why is that still on? Thank you. Alright. Trying to think, what is my sequencing? Eutropia. Prosperous. Generous. I think they got us, though. 
They're going to draw a bunch of cards, refuel, get a bunch of zero drops here soon. I'm not liking the chances. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine mana. Cool. I think I quit. That was bad, friends. That was really bad. Joyra uh, punished us. Uh, wow, we have played some really good decks today. Uh, who was that? Spy Sappin Masentry. All right, friend. Uh, you just whooped my ass. <laughs> wow. I didn't stand a chance here. Well, I mean, okay. Not to do the I'm playing commons, but rare, rare, mythic, rare, mythic. So, like, there's a, there's a disproportionate power level here, right? But, uh... Joyra, whooping our butt. Good job, Spy Sap and Mesentry. Uh, Joyra, they like Captain. Whooping ass. Well, friends, we already know the answer. Commons and uncommons aren't cutting it with Eutropia. Well, let's go for one more. Let's see. One more. At least if we get a win, we can at least say we didn't get swept. Oh, let's see what happens, friends. Let's see. Who's our final opponent going to be? Wow, we have just gotten, maybe I scoop early. I might scoop early. But now we're going to play Genesis Falls. And we're going to play Mishra and get punched in the face a lot. Mishra, Tamer of Makfawa. Let's see, do I want this hand? I do not want this hand. Magic is restraining. Probably get rid of the Explorer, because this can loot. Uh, oh, but the Explorer's pretty good. Okay, I'll keep six. Sorry, Explorer. Uh, mm, that's my only enchantment I haven't... Oh, magic's a hard game, friends. I'm going to start with Quandrix so I can get the Jeskai going. Because then on turn four, I can drop the Generous and get pretty... I don't know. I basically have to get ahead of... Oh, it's not a punt, the punch one. This is the unearth one. Oh, gross! Shadow Spear. I gotta be mean. I gotta play that kind of magic. All right, Jessica. Let's get going. I don't have many instants and sorceries, so it won't trigger too much, but I should get a card or two out of here. Like, I'll probably... Right, is Mishra a warrior? What? Once again, friends, magic? Most frustrating game of the planet. Uh, I don't know if that counts as combat damage. I don't think it does. Oh well, we'll get, we'll get Eutropia. I'll still swing. That's right. What now? Board wipe. Wait, what with the board wipe? Oh, Bantus, maybe. Is that a Bantus? Okay. Play a land. Drop Azusa. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Let's put on Jeskai Elder. May play an additional land this turn. I'll play into that one, yeah. Uh, let's get a little bigger. And we'll put it on the island. Get them up to a 3-4. We'll get Eutropia up to a 3-3. Three, three, and then we'll be able to drop the visitor here. This is better. Not good by any means, but better. Island, goodbye. Play Generous Visitor, get him on the board, and the next turn we'll sack the... What's it called? The Unbridled Growth so we can draw the card. Hope we draw into a... What's the word? Enchantment or Aura? 
Let's see what you got. Choose two target creep. Okay. So I'm going to sacrifice you, but then you're going to kill Eutropia, right? With like a lightning strike or something? Genesis Falls. I'm getting nervous with this Shadow Spear. Oh, gross. Alright, draw a card, because you're going to probably create a token. You should probably create a token. Cool, I'm going to draw a card. Hopefully I can fly. Hmm. Well, let me know I'm empty-handed, right? Let's see. I'm going to do Eutropia at Obnixilis. Jeskai Elder at the face. So I can draw... Oh, that was stupid. I don't, I'm, just, I'm probably going to draw and discard an enchantment. Oh, thank goodness. Looted a land. I have so much land. Thank goodness our opponent's been short, because soon they're going to just unload well oh artifact card okay that's not so bad yeah yeah gain you two I don't care gain two swing out but you I draw land truly unhelpful I mean, it'll be good when they try to destroy the board, but it... Oh. Well, that was kind of helpful. Hmm. How much does this cost? Like, eight? One, two, three, four. Uh, do I want six? Yeah, let's go here. Swinging six in. Ugh. It's close. It's not great. I mean, we're in pretty good shape. Don't get me wrong, but... Pretty weak to just about anything here. Oh, this is a tough choice. I mean, they're probably going to board wipe, but this will get us something. So next turn, let's see what happens, friends. We're going for the one win. Because Splaggy and the, our other opponent just destroyed us. <laughs> Genesis Falls is putting up a fight too, though. We'll see. Mishra is coming down. But there's not a lot of artifacts in there, so we'll see. Mishra can at least block. Oh. Please don't get flying or death touch. Or reach. Really prefer you not getting any of those. Okay. Yeah, hexproof is. A okay. Smart. Okay, no block. No block, no block. Path. It's gonna be close. Four, eight, eleven. Jeepers, creepers. Magic's been hard today, friends. Hmm. Well, okay. Prowess. Ba -ba -ba. Give you flying and plus one. Bop -da -bop. We'll target Eutropia. I think we're going to get there. Um, let's put a flying on you. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Okay. I have literally two forests. So that'll get them to an eight plus nine plus... Uh, it's going to be close. Oh my gosh, this is so close. Is it even worth it? I 
think so. I think. I think this is going to be worth it. Uh, we'll jack you. Make you swole. Get prowess. Nine. Yes! Oh my gosh, we barely got there. Holy moly. Good game, Genesis Falls. You, you were... You were setting up. Oh, thank goodness, friends. That did not go as I thought. Um, well, let's go back to the deck list real quick because it's clear that Eutropia, just by herself, with commons and uncommons, doesn't cut it. So let's think of things we could add to maybe bump the power level of uh of the deck so first let's see i just want to check something i have 30 28 enchantments so i think i'm gonna cut maybe one to two creatures and one to two instants to get this number a little higher right and so when i say i'm gonna cut one to two creatures like now this includes rares right so i was thinking what would a Rishkar be like, right? When Rishkar enters the battlefield, you put a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures. And it's then going to be similar to, uh, what is his name? Zhang Yang Gu. Uh, where if a creature has a plus one counter on it, it can tap for green mana. So that was one idea I had. So that's one card we could add. Another one I thought about, another rare. It's an enchantment, so that benefits us. One green... Hardened Scales. If one plus one plus one counter would be put on a creature, basically double it, right? Uh, so that could be an enchantment we add. But let's pull these up and let's just punch in Aura real quick. Let's see. I mean, we have a lot. Hard Cover could be good. It adds a looting effect. Um, River's Favor adds, you know, plus one plus one. A lot of these we want the lower ones right like maybe here one with the wind plus two plus two and flying uh, another flying one uh, this is a rune uh, let's see green in terms of auras we have maybe arachnophone form uh, that's a good one we have a lot of auras maybe this one it could fight a creature what warbriar blessing I don't know, but those are a few of the ideas I had. Rishgar and Hardened Scales and maybe, no offense to Impulse, drop Impulse and, I don't know, maybe they get plus one counters. Yeah, it's hard. I mean, Azusa doesn't do much. Maybe no, I don't know. Maybe Kieran Dryad would cut. There's just not, there is blue, but not as much as you think. There seems to be more red flowing, maybe. I'll have to check that. Uh, so a Hardened Scales, uh, Rishkar, uh, Warbriar Blessing. Um, I'm trying to think of other options. Um, there's probably plenty. Let's see if there's any cool or No, nope, none there. Okay. Well, no cool Simic Auras. Uh, but those are a few of my thoughts on what we could do to really bump this deck's power level up. Because it seemed like there was something lacking. And the main thing was we just didn't draw into a lot of our enchantments so boosting that number and then maybe boosting the amount of lands 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 and then i think i have a good amount of uh mf whatever's the land spells like drawery disruption and stuff so i have a decent amount of lands but maybe i need another land but anyways that's been utropia the twice favored friends and I'll say, I like this commander. I've always been really partial to aura decks, like in uh, Explore and also in Historic at one point. I was a big fan of that blue-white aura deck, you know, with like Core, Spirit Dancer, and Srom. Uh, so I love auras. And Utropia can be very powerful at times. Like, we had a board of five fives. Like, it's a powerful card. But like... As I said, it could use some other pieces. Hardened scales if we played rares. And really any spell to multiply plus one plus one counters would be huge. And we saw this deck is super weak to any removal, board wipe, single target, bounce spells. And like any enchantment removal. 
I forgot that one from a set or two ago. It's the board wipe that can wipe, like, exile everything. That would be devastating to us. But, even though we had a losing record, a 1-2 in two record, I think this is still a fun deck to play, and I would recommend it still. You get a board of jacked creatures, and then you get to punch face. And, like, you saw... Even if this isn't your style of deck, or even if things go horribly wrong and you don't draw the right lanes and you don't draw auras, you can still get a win over a strong deck. And the benefit is, you can probably build this deck right now and enjoy it today. Oh, so friends, you should go do it. You should give Utropia a spin. I posted the deck, link in, uh, deck list in the comments. I also post all my deck lists uh, to the user-submitted decks on MTG Goldfish. But anyways, my fellow card floppers, this has been Smooth Puma, with the reminder that you can save those wild cards, because uncommons can be legendary too. If you would like to continue the conversation, comment down below. What rares or what cards would you add to power up Utropia? How might you pilot the deck differently? And share your ideas and don't forget to... Uh, share your ideas down below is what I meant to say. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Well, until next time, friends. Huge shout out to our opponents with ass-kicking decks. Until next time, though. This has been Smooth Puma. See you next time.